the default display screen referred to as the DDS screen. The Oxy Out, as seen here, should always remain at 100%, indicating that the unit has full potential to oxidise the water. Pressing the plus button will change it to Oxy Set, as seen here, and should remain at 100%, unless un adjusted in winter mode, which is covered in later videos. If the Oxy Set is set to 100% and the Oxy Out is less, for example 70%, this will indicate that the TDS levels in the pool have been diluted, more than likely from recent heavy rainfall. It is recommended to check your levels and rebalance the pool in order to get back to 100%. The dot here indicates normal operation and when the cell is working and if TDS levels are within range, the dot will remain on at all times whilst in operation in the first timer. If the dot is switching off and on, this indicates TDS levels are slightly higher than recommended and the unit will self-regulate to ensure that 15 grams an hour of chlorine is constantly produced and therefore not increasing chlorine levels in the pool. The longer the dot is off, the higher the TDS levels in the pool, and the shorter the dot is off, the closer to the recommended levels, which is normal operation. For all units installed pre-October 2019, T2 will appear here, indicating a dual timer has been selected and this is the default setting after the initial startup has completed. If you have manually changed the timers and selected a single timer, T1 will be displayed. All units installed post October 2019, T1 will be displayed when the first timer is operating and T2 will be displayed when the second timer is operating. If nothing is displayed here, the unit will not be operating. It is important to note that during T1, the oxy cell, ionizer and pump operate, known as a sanitization period. And during T2, the pump only operates with the oxy cell turning on for the last hour in this timer. This is known as the filtration and circulation period. Here, the oxy out will show zero and the cell will be off. The mode is set to auto as indicated here by the blue LED. The mode can be changed by pressing the power button on the top left and will go to off and then on, as seen here. In most cases, the unit will remain in auto unless the system has been set up through an external controller and on has been selected by the installer. The actual time is displayed here in 24 hour uh, format. The cell will either read FWD or REV. FWD is for forward and REV is for reverse, indicating the direction in which the oxy cell is currently working. This alternates every 10 hours as the cell is self-cleaning to clean any calcium buildup on the plates and can be adjusted within the main menu for high calcium areas from four to 16 hours if required. The pump will either be displaying on or off, depending upon the run time set to indicate operation. And ion set indicates the set point for the ionizer. All, auto, all units will automatically default to a 20% setting after the initial startup. And the brackets here indicate normal operation. When the dot is on, the ionizer is working. And when there is no dot, it is not working. For example, at a 20% setting, the dot will be on for two seconds and off for eight, as this works in 10 second cycles. All units installed pre-October 2019, the ion set will always remain on the screen and alternate between the temperature being displayed. For units installed post-2019, ion set will only be displayed when the ionizer is working, which is in timer one, and the screen will alternate between ion set and the temperature. However, once T1 has been completed, only the temperature, only the temperature will be displayed. Ion set will automatically reduce by 50% when the temperature is less than 10 degrees Celsius to stop couple, copper levels increasing in cooler months. So if 10% is displayed, this is normal operation and will revert to a 20% set point once the temperature increases past 10 degrees. 